Well, why is this fool waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning? Shut up. You're supposed to be running the cows at four at, at, at 5. Leave me alone. Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio. The podcast for men and women, leaders, entrepreneurs, and leaderpreneurs desiring to know the specialties and soft skills of the strenuous life. Hello everyone, I'm excited, grateful, and delighted to speak to you with kind of the uh, necessities of success, health to the navel, marrow to the bones, strength to the loins, and in the sinews. We're going to be going through a high-powered morning routine. This episode is called Episode 78, High Power Morning, High Powered Morning Routine. Make no excuse for your time. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you parts of my routine. We'll fill it up with a little bit of Jeff Lerner, and then I'll come back and give you some some parts of mine, and we'll, we'll just go ahead and get started. I get up at 4:30 almost every morning. I know it's the mornings that I sleep in, and I'm in, by that I mean sleep in quite a bit like 10 or 11 I don't have necessarily the best days I get up and drink a glass of water or or drink a root beer you know get myself acclimated to the world and then at 5 o'clock I enter into an hour of power Um, I I do some uh, prayer and meditation Right now, in, in, in the New Testament, I'm meditating on the, uh, the book of Second Thessalonians. And then um, I do 30 minutes of reading. I'm, I'm currently reading um, in the mornings, the Hour of Power, I'm reading a book called Jesus the Christ by James E. Talmadge. And then after that... 40 minutes has passed, I do some um, exercises, some low-impact exercises. Um, I use some physical therapy bands, do some balancing work, wall push-ups, uh, running in place, uh, you name it. But now, we're going to have some insights here from Jeff Lerner, if you remember him from episode 77. disaster of an office. It's where the magic happens. I listen to those audiobooks in short little snippets, and I find that that way, every time I listen, I can pick one thing to hone in on and then just sort of stew on it for a minute. So on that little jog, the little five-minute jog over here, there was a line in Scaling Up that said, the bottleneck is always at the top of the bottle. The issues in an organization are usually issues with the leadership. Yeah, that one hit pretty hard. Anyway, we'll set our piano timer for 45 minutes. All right. I'll say this. Around 6 a.m. In the same time between 6 and 6.30 or 6 and 7, I sit there and I do uh, some screenwriting. It's a hobby of mine. I had it briefly in, in high school, and then all I did it aside, and then I had it briefly in graduate school, and laid it aside, and, and now it's like, for some reason, screenwriting is almost like therapy to me. And then, 7 a.m., it's between, uh, it, it, my day, my morning for that hour, is between listening to, to hymns, Reading the scriptures and my 7 a.m. scriptures to, from the Old Testament and, and Book of Mormon, and then after that, um, listen to maybe a talk by one of our um, my church's te- uh, chief theologians, and and also listen to some more hymns. Eight o'clock, I think, starts my day where I do 
I, I do blog posts. I do public relations blog posts for um, Toastmasters. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and give you a little bit more snippet from uh, Jeff Lerner here. Go about our day. It's like if you're going to do, if you're going to do 10x effort, if you're going to do 10 times more than, you know, the average, let's say. Because you think about it, there was a time in my life I was a one-man band and I was doing as much volume as an affiliate marketer as a team of 10 people realistically but you can't do that by working the the effort working the hours of 10 people you, you can't work 400 hours a week so you have to have all these little processes and shortcuts woven together throughout your life that shave two percent here five percent there three percent there you compound a lot of little incremental improvements and you start to see how you could get to 10 times the effort of a normal person. Those coyotes <laughs> in our backyard. Well, uh, okay, Jared wants to take over for just a few minutes, but no more after this for a little while. Well, you know, uh, Jimmy and I have the same problem. Some of our family and friends look at us like we're crazy getting up at 4.30 in the morning. Of course, I, 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 I live, unlike Jimmy, I live on the ranch where there is coyotes in our backyard. But it's not my responsibility to shoot them. If I, if I even do that. Mama tells me to respect the land. Now, that being said... Unlike Jimmy's routine, I get it at 4.30. I get a glass of water. I'll go, I go downstairs, do some, do some exercise, exercise room. And then after, after that, I do some praying, some reading, scripture study. And then about 8.30, my, my uh, work day starts. Used to be a COVID, I had to do it at the ranch. Nowadays, I can do it in my office in downtown Midland. The thing is, my, our friends may call us crazy. My friends may call me crazy. But Jimmy and I, we're success minded. They may sound crazy to a lot of people, but let me tell you something. You are in charge of your own destiny, and you are in charge of your own uh, schedule. And make no excuse for your for your time. And those people that are reactive, trying to get in the way of you and your schedule, I have this to say. I have no excuse for your kind, either. That's got to be said. You now the right to the reactive ones, high-powered routine. Ain't necessarily for those. But there are people like me and Jimmy. Lots of people that want to be successful. There's nothing like an early morning routine to give you a confidence boost. Like Jimmy, I do. I do physical therapy. Unlike Jimmy, because he ain't got a pool in his house. I, when I take a lunch break. I, I, I go for 11 o'clock, I go swim in the pool, the ranch, go upstairs, have lunch, take a nap, and then back at, uh, I guess it's about 1.30, back to the grindstone. But you, you've, you've heard from me what I've had to say. I know that may sound kind of cruel, what I said to those people better reactive. That they think that, uh, you know, trying to get in the way of your schedule you make no excuse for your for your time you hear me are you listening old jr i'm because i'm speaking the truth those of you that want to be reactive and complain about more routine like that you can do nothing but get out of my sight get out of my sight Because I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking my heart. Let me tell you something. Most part, I have a heart of gold. 
but I ain't got patience for reactivity. Okay, JR, that's enough. That's enough. He, he has a point. I just think sometimes he gets a bit too sharp. <laughs> he gets a bit too sharp, but he says sometimes what needs to be said. Now, with that, hope that you've enjoyed listening to Empower. No, hope you enjoyed listening to the Strenuous Life uh, Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Strenuous Life Radio community. This is Jimi Hendrix. Uh, this is Jimi Hendrix saying, until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. Do what others don't so you can have what others can't. Think strong, live strong, and live the strenuous life. God bless you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>